Alright guys, this is the Piper Missionary, and I uh, hope you can hear me. Let me see if I can get in some shade so you're not being all blocked out by the sun. Anyways, I am back in Bullhead City, Arizona, which is uh, right where Nevada and California meet uh, Arizona. And uh, it's another sunny day. Sorry I haven't been able to make a video. Before I get any further though, let's talk about uh, the house of keeping. And I am smoking a cigar, the Grok, Grokha, Groka, maybe? I don't know. And it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's more of a, I don't know, it's more of a strong smoke. He said it should take about an hour to smoke. I just lit it up not too long ago. Um, been smoking my pipes, just haven't made videos, haven't really had time. Um, so what have I been up to? Well, I'm coaching soccer, the U14 team, so I'm coaching a bunch of 13, 14 year olds. Kind of mouthy, but that's alright. Um, just been a blessing to work with them and share my knowledge of soccer and play the soccer. Um, I've really missed it. Been coaching Special Olympic Swim, which just ended a couple of weeks ago. I'm going up to Phoenix to do some training um, for train or Special Olympics uh, track, so I can coach track this year. Um, I'm now a motorcycle licensed driver, but you guys be surprised driving a moped. It's very European of me. So I hope you can get that whole thing in the shot. It's pretty sweet. Maybe I'll do a walk around. Um, so I don't know. Can you see? Ah, uh, I don't know. Anyways, it's pretty sweet. It gets up to it gets 85 miles to gallon, four dollars to fill it up on premium, and um, it's got a one gallon tank. It goes about 60 miles per hour, so it's pretty cool for in town. Um, I'm teaching a Bible study on Tuesday with a bunch of youth kids um, that they came from hard uh, lives. Um, a lot of them came from drug and alcohol addicted families. Some of them were even drug and alcohol addicted. Um, just been really pushing them to work, pushing them to become uh, men and women of uh, God and take that choice if they want to take that choice. That's the cool thing about it. God's grace and God's mercy is He gave us the choice to uh, choose to walk with Him or choose not to walk with Him. Um, and I'm just trying to get them to that place of make a choice, you know, either decide to walk with Him or decide not to walk with Him. Um, God says in Revelation 3.16, I'd rather you be hot or I'd rather you be cold, but if you're lukewarm, you might vomit. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't want to be God's vomit. I'd rather be cold or hot. Um, anyway, besides what's new, growing the beard back out. Um, my gumbo here is sticking out over there. And uh, just enjoying the weather. It's fall time here, which leaves don't change color, so I'll just give you a pan. Full heads like. It's about 80 degrees right now. Um, about ready to go coach soccer. I'll probably do some videos up there. The bad thing is, I'm working at a daycare now. I'm a four and five year old uh, school teacher. Um, so my life looks like teaching, or teaching preschool, then soccer, and then Bible study, and then every once in a while I get to hang out with some buddies and uh, do some fun stuff. We spoke to the other night in the garage. So that was pretty sweet. Um, it's always windy and bullhead, so it kind of makes it hard to hear, I'm sure. But, anyways, guys, I decided to make it, come in and pop, make a quick video of pop this. Um, haven't even been watching any, per or, uh, any, uh, break, what am I trying to say, any videos, so I'm gonna have to get on top of it and get back on YouTube. Um, I know I was getting really good at making videos before I left, uh, um, or left to come back to Bullhead, but I've just really been taking this time to spend time with my family that I haven't seen in a year, both friends, and get kind of plugged back into life, but now things are settling down and the hype of Kenny's home is all over then uh, it's time to go back to uh, making videos and hanging out with my other family up on YouTube. So anyways, it's the Pipe and Missionary. I hope you guys have a blessed uh, afternoon. I'll probably upload this tonight. So anyways, I love you guys, and um, I'm going to look forward to watching your videos and get settled back into uh, the YouTube live. Anyways, so peace I out, noticed guys. in the last video you really couldn't see the moped, so uh, it's got the motorcycle like looking handlebars on the top of it. It's a BMS uh, Heritage 150. It goes 60 miles per hour, like I said, it's pretty good. But uh, well, you sit there and stare at this, and uh, I sit here and smoke, finish up smoking the cigar. Actually, I'm only about into the one third of it. I just wanted to share with you guys a couple of things. One, I know um, I made a video about my mom going into surgery before I took off to come back to Bullhead. Um, everything's great with her, things are working out perfectly. Thanks for your prayers or mojo or whatever else you sent our way. Um, but I'm asking that you guys that pray, or for you, that, as Jay would say, sending mojo. We just send it down to Bullhead. Our pastor fell off of a ladder about two weeks ago. Um, his son, Pastor CJ, was told that night that you need to call the rest of your family out here. He's not going to make it. He was on life support, was in a coma for a couple of days. Um, but through the prayers and just amazing how God works, um, his, uh, 
he recovered, well, pretty much recovered. He was up walking around in the hallways three days later. Um, he's still in Vegas, though, doing physical therapy, and uh, there's some mental things that have changed about him, obviously, when you get into the head trauma like that. But with that said, um, we believe that he'll take a full recovery because we're just trusting in the faith, and we're trusting and putting our faith in the Lord. Um, anyways, I'm going to finish up the cigar. This is a private missionary, and uh, I hope you guys have a blessed evening. And um, fill me on whatever happened with that uh, tax uh, on the tobacco. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Looking forward to catching up on your guys' videos. Peace out, guys.